Good afternoon, class. In today's video, what I'd like to do is to finish up our series of videos on, on hydrocarbons. And in this um, is going to be um, part two of the series. And in this one, I'd like to do a couple of examples. Um, for this one, I'm going to focus mostly on propane or the, of, of that series of, with the three hydrocarbons, uh, three carbon atoms in this hydrocarbon. Uh, the reason why I do that is because uh, mostly because it's easier to draw, but these rules would apply for anything um, anything above um, basically ethane, you know, if we're, to, if we're talking about the alkane series. Of course, if we're going to the alkene and the alkyne, well, it gets a little bit more complicated, but we'll deal with that in this, in, this, um, in this video. So let us begin. When we start with a simple um, hydrocarbon like propane, or, or at least one that is common enough that we have all heard of it, um, we take a look at its, um, we take a look at the structure of it, and, it's, and we, what we find is it's very simple. Um, all single bonds in, in terms of the carbon atoms, all the carbon atoms are, are single bonded. And that means they all have common uh, single bonds with hydrogens as well. And there's only one way to draw that, with everything having a single bond. And of course, I want to make sure I labeled the, um, the formula over here, C3H8, following our rule that we established in the last video. This time, um, but now when we go into the al so that's the alkanes. This one, when we get into the alkene version of, of this hydrocarbon, it becomes a little bit more complicated. Um, and this becomes even more complex when we have even more um, carbon atoms that are added to this. So in this case, we have propene, which is C3H6, um, which I labeled over here. Um, and of course, if you need to pause the video to make sure you zoom in on any of these, um, these facts, feel free to do so at any point. Um, so what, it, but the thing is now you have two types of, 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 pro, of what I guess we call isomers of propene. And the reason why we have that is because you can put this, because propene, like we discovered, I mean, what we discussed in the last video, was an alkene, which means there's a double bond. Now, if there's a double bond here, there can be multiple places where you could put it. And of course, this is even, it has even more places in with higher and higher levels of um, carbon atoms. But you can put the double bond here after the in between the first and the second carbon atom, or you could put it over here between the second and the third carbon atom. So in either case, you're gonna have to call it, in both of them will have different, um, they, as you can clearly see, they have very different physical structures, no matter how similar they are, they're very, they're different. And so they will act differently when they're being reacted to depending on the chemicals that are reacting with this hydrocarbon. So it matters how we label, you know, these types of hydrocarbons. So what we call them is we say we put a one front, um, we call it one propene. And the reason why we say that is because that tells you that after the first, after the first carbon atom, you put the double bond. Just like in this one where it says two propene, you put the you put the um, double bond after the second carbon atom in between the second and the third. So that's how the, how the, um, the rule works for um, these isomers of propene. And of course, the same thing with propyne, um, the alkyne version of it, you have one propyne and two propyne, um, where there's a triple bond here, and then there's a single bond of hydrogen atoms all around. The one thing, you know, and this may seem to get kind of complicated quite, quite quickly. Um, the way that, or especially when you're trying to draw this, especially in this Lewis dot structure version, one thing that you can think of um, when it comes to all of these is that as long as you understand that carbon needs eight valence electrons or four single bonds, if you, if you look over here, you can actually find out which, where, um, what, how everything is bonded because there's a triple bond here and there's a single bond between this carbon, between the second carbon atom and the third one, and there's a triple bond between the first carbon atom and the second one. So right now I count up one, two, three, four bonds total. So therefore carbon, this second carbon atom is completely fine. So it doesn't need any to bond with any hydrogen atoms. So that's why there's no hydrogen over here. Whereas the first carbon atom has the triple bond as well, so it's still got three bonds, but it needs one more, and that's why there's that extra carbon atom that, I mean, there's the extra hydrogen atom that gets um, bonded over here at the end of this propyne molecule. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. We've got propane, pro, 
propene and propyne, all hydrocarbons with three carbon atoms attached to it. Um, so, if you, if you t so as you take a look at this, hopefully this will help you um, figure out the rules and examples of how to um, figure out the homework when it comes to all of the different um, problems that I set up in this. So good luck in your studies and may the force be with you.